In the 26th edition, we wrote several new guidelines for specialty drugs that addressed inherited metabolic conditions. This was, I think, important because it shows a growing trend in science and research in being able to treat things that formerly were fatal. The 21st Century Cures Act was passed in 2016, and they really put a push on developing conditions for rare diseases. Rare diseases uh, are defined loosely by any condition that affects fewer than 200,000 people in the United States. Half of those conditions affect children. So that's a lot. And the, the 21st Century Cures Act really encouraged researchers and pharma to develop conditions. Many of these conditions, even back when I was in medical school, we didn't really even know what caused them. We could diagnose them, um, but we really didn't know what the underlying source was. Now we know that what the actual genetic abnormality is, we can test for it. And finally, in the last few years, through support of researchers, patient advocates, and programs through the government to encourage pharmaceutical companies, we're developing drugs that can, when started early, can treat these patients, usually children, to have normal or almost normal lives. This is, for me as a physician and a pediatrician, this is almost like science fiction coming to life. And it's really exciting, and it just shows how far we've come. So I'm really excited to see these developments and to see that we're supporting them through writing guidelines, often for the genetic testing and then for the specialty pharmaceuticals. For our customers, this is really important because there is a cost to the science fiction coming to life. These medications for rare conditions are unfortunately incredibly high cost. They are often the highest cost medications uh, that are being used by both commercial plans and Medicaid and Medicare. So it is important that we write good, thoughtful guidelines to make sure that patients who, that the right patients are getting them uh, and that they're being used appropriately because they are life-changing, but they're quite often medications that are being used for life. So this is a whole new world and it's really exciting, and we're just happy to be a part of it.